maximum of 15 minutes to debate the matter. I invite Flo Wilkinson to present the petition in relation to capitalism. Okay. Dear Mayor and Councillors of Luton, we are a group of concerned parents that have formed the, the CNX Post Committee. While we sympathise with the Council having to make so many cuts forced on them by government, we are opposed to the proposed transport cuts to denominational schools and the post-16 Sailor Card scheme. Newman's original site was in central Luton, but the Catholic community was persuaded to build it on site in Morton Hills. They were promised that pupils would always be provided with free transport, and for this reason alone, we will fight these cuts to the bitter end. We called into question the legality of the consultation process. The council held two public meetings at totally inappropriate times. The first at school pick-up time and the second on Ash Wednesday, a day of holy obligation for Catholics. Pupils who applied to start Carl Newman in September 2013 were not given sufficient and timely information about the plans to cut transport so that they could make an informed choice. Most parents with children in Luton are totally unaware of the removal of the post-16 saver card. If you withdraw the saver scheme, it will affect every family in Luton, regardless of their faith or culture. No travel survey has been issued to pet pupils at Newman to find out how they propose to make their journey to school. When planning to make a decision about acting funding, surely the council would need to understand the traffic, environmental and safety impact before making such a drastic decision. People will drive to save money. When the transport was last up for cut in 2005, a traffic survey was carried out and several issues were raised. Traffic has got worse over the last eight years, not better. One of our concerns is that Arriba may not continue to run the 809 buses if it is not profitable. Can you guarantee our children's safety getting to Carl Newman School each day if there is no bus? 12% of the pupils that attend Carl Newman have special educational needs and therefore are even more vulnerable on their journey to school. The school only has around 13% of the 1,400 pupils that claim free school meals. If the bus does not run, these pupils will still be entitled to free transport, but will probably be given taxis to school. We estimate this at £10 per child per day for a return taxi journey. This would cost over £320,000 per year. The full 800 line service to Cardinal Newman costs about £400,000 per year. Where is the advertised million pound saving? Cardinal Newman School is a voluntary aided school and as such the diocese contributes 10% of all the building costs to the school. This money is actually gained from the Catholic people living in Luton. Every pupil that attends the school in Luton pays towards the building fund each year. If families have to pay for transport, they may not be able to afford the building fund money. If Carl Newman ceased to be a faith school, the Catholics in Luton would no longer be contributing this 10% and this cost would fall to the council. With all this in mind, parents will start turning to their already full local high schools for places. In these times of austerities, when these cuts are being made, can you explain why Luton Borough Council are spending £17.5 million on a total workplace transformation programme for an extension to the Town Hall and refurbishment of Wesley House, Unity House and Apex House? This money was all alarmingly internally sourced, we are informed. Luton Borough Council apparently have, 50 million, have to save £50 million over the next three years but have £50 million pounds in reserves. There is £7 million in a general reserve account for overspends. This could fund the bus to Carnival for the next 20 years. We are concerned that your figures are not watertight and simply do not stack up when scrutinised. We feel that the amount of money spent on the Love Newton campaign is ridiculous when these threatened cuts alone have caused more harm and discrimination against the Catholic community in Luton than anything else and have certainly not contributed to us all living in harmony. With letters to local press quoting a sectarian school and likening the school to Northern Ireland, this is another worry for parents. We feel Luton Borough Council wastes huge amounts of money on disastrous pop concerts, consultants fees and most of all the unwanted busway between Luton and Dunstable. Our young people are the future of this town and should be last in line for cuts, not first. We would like to finish by saying we are disgusted that the original e-petition with 1,300 signatures was refused by the council. We represent the voice of many thousands of people in Luton. 
but have been treated with a condescending and petty attitude at all stage of our attempts to communicate with you. Our elected rep you are our elected representatives and public servants who we pay with our hard-earned taxes. We are not prepared to negotiate on the funding, however we do recognise that there is scope for more efficient service to be pro provided to the school. Why are the current passes for pupils for seven days a week, 11 months of the year? They should be for school days only. Some councils have agreed to keep the transport to faith schools after consultation. We hope you will see your saving does not lie here and support us. The people of Luton have voted you as councillors. Please oppose the proposed cuts to all transport. It has angered us that we have only been allowed to give, have five minutes to talk and the hoops we have jumped through to be able to talk to you today. We feel like you should all remember you are our public servants in office and we voted you in and our taxes paid to help run the town hall. You need to talk to us as we will not forget the outcome of this process. Things need to change. Our voice is as important as all of yours. Thank you very much everyone.